Hello, my name's Scott Ellesmere and I'm Applications and Technology Team Manager at HK Technologies. And what I'd like to do right now is give you an overview through the Mitsubishi Control that's featured on all our Y EDM series. So welcome to the Mitsubishi Advance Plus 3 Control. There's three real main areas to the control, the setup, the program, and the monitor. The setup area is where the operator sets up all his work pieces. Um, to enable him to do that, we have a selection of pickups, for example, work slope, where the part will be orientated in line with the machine's axis. This saves the need for clocking in the workpiece. Once he's done this, he might like to do something like a three-point center, outside, inside, maybe just a simple edge pickup to find, find a, a datum, or maybe he has a plate where he's picking up off, off a corner and he can simply tell it where he wants to pick up around the part and where to move to with the wire to insert the wire. Once he's found his part, he might like to do a program. Several ways of getting any uh, IGES file, DXF file into the machine, either by network or by USB. So the first thing he might do is open up this file and here we have a parasolid he might like to sample the outline so we're outside and sample the outline that's then transferred through to the 2d cam and once he has this all he simply has to do is to select a point for, for a thread point then we can start to apply the process so we move into CAM, specify our thread location, the workpiece, and then we set the conditions. The operator simply works his way through the, through the panel, answering all the questions until he re achieves the surface finish and res desired result in, within the technology that he's looking for. We searched for the technology, he can see here his generator settings, offsets, stepping increments, and we save this to the CAM system. He then decides whether he has a, a, a die or punch shape, whether he has one part, multiple parts, and his basic strategy that he wants to use. We apply that to the process, and then we can create the NC program. And at this point, he can open the editor if he wants to do any editing or, or checking of the program. But ba basically and very simply, he can move straight through to the monitor screen where he's then able to start cutting the workpiece. And now the program is ready to run. In the background, while the machine is running, we have a multitude of technology enhancements that are taking care of the process for him. For example, looking after corners in, in, in the rough cut, but also in skim cut, where the wire can be forced more into the corners, or in the case of punch machining, take more off the radius to save later bench work. Orbit Master takes care of differences in shapes between straight surface and, and round surface for us. And these are just a couple of the tools that are working in the background to, to support the operator. Of course, sometimes we need to do a little bit of maintenance on the machine. So we have some maintenance timers that tell the operator when he should add lubrication oil or change the filters and how much wire maybe he's got left on the job for the evening. The th threading management in real time follows the wire threader through the system. And should there be a problem, it's very easy for the operator to, to come in, enter the guide system, where he gets a PDF view of what, what, he, what he might need to do to rectify any issue. So that's just a real basic introduction into the Mitsubishi Control and how simple it is to get an operation running.